welcome to the channel so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic a lot of students have sent requests basically asking the question that why they are not able to find the job even after doing the trending technologies training so response to that is you should ask this question to the person who said to you that doing those trending technologies training will give you a job because i definitely do not feel so and I have a very different belief about it. So today we are going to explore those kind of marketing gimmicks and how you should avoid those and save your money and time. So if that is something that interests you then keep on watching. My dear professionals, the basic thing to understand is that for the technologies which are still evolving, the number of opportunities in terms of job will always be lesser than the older and well proven technologies because those technologies are still not full fledged operational in the market in the industry so whatever you see and hear in terms of news related to those technologies is their upcoming impact how the trend of the industry will shift from this technologies to what newer technologies you doing that course or taking that training immediately will not serve any purpose and there are two main reasons for that and these two factors explain very well that why these trending technologies training does not work for freshers at all and the number one factor or reason for that is complex transition phase or you can say the migration phase as a student or a fresher, it's very important for you to understand that the platforms or the softwares that are already in existence are built on very robust old technologies. Just for understanding, let's say all the softwares are built on Java or .NET technology. And now there is some new technology that has come up, new programming language that has come up in the market, say from Jan 2021, there is a language called XYZ that has come into the market and is very trending. And most of the companies have expressed their interest that they would work towards migrating to that technology now you as a fresher will assume that if you do the training on this language xyz you will automatically get a job in market because it's a new technology it's trending not many people are there in the market with this skill set so you go ahead with that training but that's a very limited knowledge that you have about that technology and the impact that it will create. You should know that when a company decides to move to a new software or to a new platform, it takes a lot of time for them to migrate from the older to newer version or the platform. It can take two years, three years beyond that. I mean, let's say just to understand for an example that it takes typically two years for a company to migrate to this language, language XYZ. And you today in Feb 2021, you decide to undergo this training thinking that you will get the job as soon as you finish the training. Now for straight, now for straight two years, you do not have any scope because that company is in transition phase in migration phase. And what does that mean? That means that company will need someone who know older technologies well, like really well, who's a champ in that and who knows the newer technologies as well. You as a fresher, having knowledge of that new technology will serve them no purpose. So you are not employable from their perspective in their work. And it does make sense. Another point is when such kind of uh, new technologies hit the market, not every company decide to undergo that change immediately. Like say, for example, there are 10 companies in the industry. One may decide to go under change immediately others may take two years five years ten years to decide that they eventually want to convert their platform to the newer technology and that my friend leaves you with a very limited set of opportunities and as i said even if a company decide to undergo change immediately for straight two years as per this example you have no chance because they are in migration but post two years there will be so much competition for you because every single person every person who's passing out of btech or engineering colleges will have this certification because they also feel it's trending in the market and as i said there will be a very limited set of opportunities but the supply by then will be very high very high and then it disturbs the whole supply demand ratio 
Now moving on to the second most important reason that why it's very unlikely that you will land in a job after doing your trending technology training as a fresher and that reason is the, the long evolution phase. Now when the technologies are still in evolution phase, we do not know right now what will be the impact of them or how we are going to use them. Technologies like artificial intelligence AI is still in evolution phase. I know it has been since very long but still we do not know how we will use them full fledged in our day to day work or how we'll transition from our older technologies to these how these technologies will help us in future certainly there have been advancement and the job opportunities have been created by ai technologies for a lot of people but still a very limited ratio and if listening to that freshers and students are getting a perspective that blindly they should go after doing a ai certification that will help them land in a job because that's what's trending that, that is what you can see in near future then that will yield you no results no results at all i am surprised by the questions freshers ask people who are passing out in 2021 22 are asking me questions like will the job of software developer exist after a few years because ai is coming and it seems it will erase all software development jobs this is not at all true this is as good as saying that because robots have started doing medical surgeries on humans that means job of doctors is in danger and nobody should pursue mbbs hope you get the point i'm using specifically this example so that you people can relate because this is such a hilarious statement to make that ai will erase software development jobs guys it will not certainly not the nature of job may evolve and change over a period of time with the advancement of technologies but not the job itself so please do not start searching for job with this mindset with this limited mindset and wrong set of information first come on the real grounds come closer to the reality and then pick up on the technology or any training that you want to pursue i hope you're getting the message whatever i'm trying to say with the help of this session because it's not actually the fault of training or you being any less capable of doing that job it's about how the newer technologies have impact on the market the overall impact these are the external circumstances that you probably cannot control and the companies and training agencies who promote these kind of trainings they eventually are doing their business they are in a business the ideal candidate to whom these trainings will benefit is the person who is already working in a company where they decide to undergo this shift who has a hold on older technologies and now learning this new technologies will help him or rather he helps the company to undergo that shift to undergo that change so these trainings will be most helpful for those kind of people so i am not putting all of this information out to discourage you guys to give you a message that don't go after any sort of training no it is not about that of course ultimately it's your call but i am here just to tell you that be closer to reality come to the real factors which impact the industry which impacts the job opportunities and then decide about your trainings and learning programs that you undergo just picking on any random training will help you by no means and you will just end up wasting so much of your time and money which is not required at all instead of that focus on something which is your real interest i know all this information sounds little overwhelming and you guys will have a lot of questions after hearing this because this session is quite opposite to the popular belief i totally get that so if you have any questions related to the same please feel free to leave them in the comment section i'll try to include the answers either my either in my next video or in the comment section down below so drop them there and keep on watching more content on corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye